and welcome back to Ultimate Creedmoor Shooting. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Henry 3030 Lever Action Golden Boy Rifle. Now Henry Rifles has taken their inspiration from the original 1860s era rifle by adopting into their design a removable tube magazine. It's got a 20 inch barrel that's blue round steel and it's got a twist rate of 112. It's got an overall length of 38.3 inches and it weighs in at seven and a half pounds and it's got a polished brass receiver. It's got a semi buckhorn with a diamond insert rear sight which is fully adjustable and a front sight that's a .062 ivory bead. It is scope ability. It's got drilled and tapped holes on top and it takes a Weaver 63B mount. It's an American walnut carved and checkered stock which is beautifully engraved on the forestock and the buttstock itself. It's got a butt plate made of solid brass and it's got a length of pull of 14 inches and it also has safety transfer bar. Now these guns are great for large game hunting like deer, elk, bear at about 125 yards um, and they range in price from roughly about $1,200 Canadian before tax to about $985 US. I do believe. This gun is just an amazing gun. You can get it in a 38-55, a 30-30, and a 45-70. And you can also get it in a 35 Remington. These guns are just a beautiful overall gun. They cycle great, nice and smooth. I've owned a Winchester rifle before. The one thing I didn't like about the Winchester lever action rifles was there a top eject across the top here whereas the Henry rifles are more like a side eject, which is very beautiful. It doesn't come back and hit you in the face at all. These guns are just amazing guns. I love the fact that you can load them through the side gate right in here, or you can load them through the tube by just taking the tube out, just like so, lay them on their side more, and put them in. I use Hornady Lever Evolution ammunition on this gun because of the polymer tip which is about one of the safest ammos to use with these kind of guns uh, that way if you do load through the tube port itself and you load on a bit of an angle being a polymer tube it's not going to strike into the primer and set off all the ammunition in the tube unlike the old rounds like the rimfire rounds they used to make for these guns now these guns were started back up in 1996 i do believe um, they're still a very small company but they do make amazing guns i love this gun so much that i went out and bought two of them i keep one for shooting with a scope on it and then the other one i keep just like this one whereas I just use the iron sights. I was shooting this thing out today. I haven't shot in a little bit. It was a little stiff, so I had to clean it up, but I was hitting on target with iron sights with no adjustment at 100 yards, and that was a 12 inch target. So I take that any day of the week. I just love these guns. I think they're amazing to look at. They're just the way they are. The, the workmanship and the quality, the fit and finish, you couldn't ask for a better lever action rifle than one of these Henry rifles. I also like the fact that they have the pins front and back so you can put a gunsling onto it. I never really use a gunsling myself, but you do have the option. It's all nice brass fittings on it. Yeah, except for the back part here. It's not a brass finished pin. I don't know why they didn't do that, but I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, for a $1,200 gun as a Henry rifle, especially one of these Golden Boys, I think that's amazing in price. I wouldn't ask for anything more. But what I do love about this, Henry rifles guaranteed and have a warranty for life on them. I don't know too many other lever action rifles that actually do that. I've tried this against the Marlin lever action. I had a Marlin 3030 big loop. The fit and finish on the Marlin 3030 big loop to me, just not quite enough. There was like small burrs on the lever itself. I used to get cut in the hands when I was using it. It just didn't feel good 
like this one. I'd suggest if anybody's ever looking for a good lever action gun, maybe you should look into one. So there you go, guys. There's my review and my opinion on the Henry 3030 lever action golden boy rifle. We'll see you next time on Ultimate Cremar Shooting. And don't forget, if you like the channel, subscribe and hit the like button. Bye for now.